hello guys so i know a lot of you might have seen these banking websites before that look like this and it's called visa bank so today's video i'm going to teach you how to set up visa bank i'm going to teach you how to set up visa bank on your website on your hosting and i'm going to give you the uh, procedure on how you can go about this and also show you the best web hosting you can use for it so this is the bank we're going to be creating as you can see this is Visa Bank. You can sign in, you can sign up, whichever you choose. So, if you want to sign up, you have to create an account. But most people use this bank without creating an account from the front end. They just give people, um, users the ability to create the sorry, they create their account from the dashboard and then give users the details. So, they just do it. So, let me call this, um, this number, email address. Let me use this bank this password one two three four five six let me come back again one two three four five six seven eight nine ah, leave me alone or so password is one two three four five six seven eight nine and password one two three four five six seven eight nine so i agree terms and condition and so hoops you have to complete your profile to access your dashboard so let's do this v i don't want to save it so v store i don't have pictures so that 49355 gt get state um lagos zip code 40432 ct legal state uh, ikeja and let me choose anything i feel like choosing so okay this is a skincare vendor so open and submit no i don't want to save that so lala welcome to my dashboard this is my dashboard as you can see for this tutorial i'm going to be using this web hosting pms tech web hosting that's what i'm going to be using so if you have not joined pms tech please use my affiliate link in the description of this video and you'll get started so now as you click on the, P, uh, the link in the description to take you to this web hosting all you have to do is to buy your domain name click on domains purchase a domain click on register a new domain And it's going to ask you the name of the domain you're going to enter the name so let's say um, visa so let's say visa visa and the.com so let's say this is the name i'm going to click on search now it then depends on which extension you want to use if it's a dot com So then you're gonna pick which extension you wanna use if it's .com, .net, .org, .bees, whatever you wanna use. So after picking the one you wanna use, as you can see, it's still searching if it's available. Yes, it's available and for 19,000 error. So now once you're done with that, you click on this, click on order new service. Now once you click on order new service, now you come here, you pick a hosting plan. As you can see, this is the cheapest hosting you can find annually you're paying seven five that's this is like the cheapest hosting you can find out there or semi-annually you pay six thousand this one can carry three websites this one can carry just one website okay guys so now once you're done with that you're going to be given a c panel which you're going to log in so the c panel is going to look just like this let me show you okay so this is my file manager actually but you're going to be given a c panel so you log in your c panel from your admin from your admin end. so if i go to my services my services you see all the services i have on this platform and i don't want to open this because i have a lot of services right here but if you're done with that you'll be given a panel just like this as you can see this is the admin panel you'll be given a panel just like this as you can see now what you can do when you're given this panel is to go to your file manager which i already have here as you can see this is our file manager 
is my family the next thing is to upload the file now the, you can either get the file from code canon or you can get the file from the link in the description of this video it's all depending on you but right now i'm going to get it from the link um if i uh, you i'll get it from the link in the description of this video now the reason be that with the file you get from the link in the description of this video you can use it to create multiple websites but with the one you can get from code canon you use it for just a single website so the one in this description of this video does not give you a license key for the one Oh, on code canon you have to use a license key so now you're going to come here click upload now once you click upload you're going to select the file so let me pause this and just upload my file and then we'll continue from there So now guys we have it uploaded and the next thing is to click on back go to your website so it's going to take you back to your cpanel and from your cpanel you can start the process so i'm going to extract this so this is where i'm going to host it so i'm going to extract it so i'm going to reload now this is where the install folder is so what you have to do is to copy your domain name then go to slash install page so i already have the domain name here so i'm going to go to slash install install page i'm going to click on enter so now this is the site as you can see this is the site as you can see we have the site just like this so now that you have this you click on agree i agree next step now it's going to tell you to fill this requirement as you can see this is required 005 permission current permission is 075 so now you just go to your website your file manager look for core bootstrap cage so you go back let's go back okay this is not it this is it so this is it so now let me bring this close so you have core bootstrap and this is the cache so you change the cache file and click on save then you go back so the next one is core storage the same permission so you go core storage this is the storage same permission then you click on save then you're going to open it the next one is core storage app core storage framework and core storage log so I just open core storage. This is the app. This is the framework. This is the log. So click on save. And it's now we have everything set up. Go back and then you click on enter. Now, once you click on enter, it will tell you the requirement has been passed. Yes, you have actually passed it. You click on next. Now, this is where I want to install the website on. But do I have a database? Not yet. So, I have to go create a database. So, I already have my cPanel open. All I have to do is to just search database. So, I'm going to use the database wizard. So, I'm going to click on database wizard. So this is the database wizard. So I'm going to call this test one, two, three. So I'm going to call it test one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is better. Click on next. Now, once you click on next, you know, bring it to this place. So I'm going to call this test one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to use this as the password to so make sure that my life is easy and I don't forget it. So I'm going to use it again. So as you can see, strong password, create user. So now that we have this as the password, let me first go and drop the password. Now the host is always, you know, the host is always localhost. And let's go. 
so now we have this this is the username the same username and the same password i use so that it will make everything easier for me so you make changes or you click on next step it's still the same thing so now it has been created completely so this is database this is database user now come here and add your own admin username so i'm going to call it admin admin password i'm going to call it project 124 hashtag admin email so let me see i'm using this for whatever reason nothing here is correct so i am deleting this site after this video so there's no need to choose it so you say go and delete the install folder so i'm going to click on go to website but at the same time we're going to go back go to the install folder so this is our install folder so i'm going to delete this skip to trash and click delete so that we have done that we'll go and visit our website so as you can see this is our visa bank website so as you can see this is our website this is our online banking website as you can see so now let's uh, visit the admin so you go to the website name slash admin so i know a lot of you okay slash admin a d okay and slash admin that's it so remember the password we use we use username admin and project one to four so admin and then it was project one two four hashtag so let's log in i hope that's the password i didn't write it anyway i just used my computer okay okay let's see capital letter um pro um, I have to pause this video and go and check the password. <laughs> JCT124 hash. Sometimes it happens like this. And that's why it's important that you write your password down when creating websites like this. So I think this is the right password capital letter P and the hashtag at the end. So let's see. Okay, we got the right password. As you see, this is the website. I'm not gonna save this because I'm gonna delete it after now. So this is it. As you can see, this is it. Everything here. So the first you have your user, manage user, create users. So this is the active user. Now let's create a user and see how the front end is. So let's just for go through this anyway. So you have your deposits, approved deposit. This is where you get all the deposits. If someone try to um, deposit and then they, this is where you approve it, you reject it. When someone tries to withdraw money, this is where you get notification. Money transfer, this is where you get transfer from people. So other banks. Also you have other banks on the admin area. This is where you can add other banks to it, like a um, micro bank inside this your um, Visa bank. So wire transfer, you can set it here. Manage branch, just like um, you, um, GT bank. If you are having a GT bank, you can create other branches here. And you can create plans on your bank, loan, DSP, DFR, or whatever. You can create them from this part. So you also have frd loans payment gateway so you can add manual payment gateway or you can add automatic payment gateway so if you're adding automatic payment gateway you could do something like um flutter wave based even crypto so these are some of the payment gateway available but most people use manual they use their manual payment gateway i think that's safer for them so you also have every other thing now setting the website up this is where the general setting comes in So this is where you rename your bank. So we could call this um, GTB or um, okay, please P R E S C A P 
risk card bank or whatever you want to call it is up to you guys is up to you so this is it now usd what currency are you using the currency is see but what color are you using so let's use that blue secondary color is fine the account number prefix just like um, you have another bank so i could do p x px so you have account number length let's use 10 10 is okay otp expiration time that if you are setting otp so this is it now you have your bank saved completely you also have your chrome job you can set your chrome job from here so chrome job is to copy it okay the account length sorry i didn't read that very well guys so it said the account length here must be above 12 so that's okay so let's call this prescap again prescap uh, let's do px px so uh, so our color let's take it to our dark blue so take our color to our dark blue it's fine like this so we'll save it again so we have it saved and it's saved completely so now your chrome job chrome job is what makes it automatically update so each of these chrome job you can just copy them from here and set it on your c panel or you can run it as you can see they already set it up for you but if you want to you just edit it and set it from here depending on how you want the schedule to be and you have it so also you can add chrome add chrome or chrome schedule so then you also have your system setup app server actually and you can even turn your bank to maintenance mode bank. and set up your seo for here from here if you want to and you can set up your languages as you can see you can add languages from here so that's that so let's create a user let's go create a user and let's go create user so let's go uh where do you create users where do you create users okay okay so now let's go create an account let's create an account for the website so let's go I'm gonna open this in a new tab so now this is how our bank look remember we change the color of the button and everything so assuming we are signing up now let's do sign up so now we can sign up let's say uh, let me use this number email address let me use this bank this password one two three four five six let me come back again one two three four five six seven eight nine ah, leave me alone or so password is one two three four five six seven eight nine and password one two three four five six seven eight nine so i agree terms and condition and registered so hopes you have to complete your profile to access your dashboard so let's do this v i don't want to save it so v so I don't have pictures so that 49355 GT get state Lagos zip code 40432 CT Lagos State uh IKEA and let me choose anything I feel like choosing so Okay, this is a skincare vendor. So open and submit. No, I don't want to save that. So Lala, welcome to my dashboard. This is my dashboard as you can see. The PX we set, this is the account number. This is it. 
so this is our account as you can see so you have deposit withdraw fdp storage loan more and you have all of them here so that is that on how to create this kind of website so thanks for watching thanks for watching how to set up online banking website with visa bank and if you have not subscribed please hit on the subscribe button i would love to see you on my next tutorial and so for now guys bye for now see you on my next tutorial